I really became a damn gumbo of what I liked about every artist. Don't copy nobody. Don't try to be them. Take what you like and turn it into you. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back for another episode of the One More Time Podcast. I'm your host, Playback Ben, here with my co-host. Henry with the three, a.k.a. H3. H3, who do we have in the hot seat today, my friend? Welcoming in on the podcast, because this is the part that I do, so. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Welcoming in on episode 81 of the One More Time Podcast, legendary record producer, it's Cardo Got Wings. No, bro, I said he dropped a project with Cardo. That's not Cardo? That's not Cardo. Damn. That's look, Yo Dog in the motherfucking like <laughs> building. We got Yo Dog. Okay. Yo Dog. Big done. In the Southside's no finest, no. Don Diego, six, the leader of the Wolf Pack. We got Yo Dog. Some hard nicknames. I know. Hard ones. Yeah. yeah. Like, those are good. To, you got to earn them. <laughs> yes. You don't just, them ain't names you just get. They don't appear. Yeah. No, for <laughs> sure. And, and so I was explaining off camera that like, he, you know, he was like, how did you even, you know, find out about me? It's like, bro, I, I feel like I found out about you from so many angles that it was Fair. long overdue that Inevitable. we got you here on the podcast. So yeah. Raised by Wolves is the most recent project that is a collab uh, joint with Cardo Got Wings. Definitely. For those of y'all that are sleeping under a fucking rock, he's got Dug a out. diamond certified track with Drake, God's Plan, Travis Scott's Goosebumps, just to name a couple. Go do your Come fucking homework. Please. But so the, the wolf is like a, it's a thing for you. But like, yeah. what is the significance of it? The significance for real is like, it's a couple, like, the the dog I love the most, the most animal I done had been a husky, you feel me? Like, I love huskies to death. Secondly, I'm Pisces. I spirit animal is a wolf, you feel me? Okay. Boom. Then it comes to, like, the pack. You know how they be, like, like most people associate themselves with an animal just on some, probably how they move or how they grew up or whatever the case may be. You may say you're a snake. You may say you're a gorilla. It's like a spirit animal kind of thing. Yeah, you know, yeah. I really feel like the wolf is like how I came up. Like I was raised by a pet for real. How they say it, take a village. Like I really feel like I was raised by a pet, like a real wolf. Yeah, yo, what if someone did self-identify as a snake? <laughs> he was like, you know, whether you These think you're days. a snake, yeah, that would be a snake, or a rat. Right. Like, those would be like the two worst animals <laughs> to be your spirit animals. Right. Yeah, what's yours? I just think I'm a slug, for real. You know a, what I'm like saying? A, like a sloth, like probably. A, just slug. Slimy, exactly, nasty, bro. Fucking. I'm thinking like... I'm, I'm about every like a, animal. Yeah, <laughs> you think. I'm about yeah. like a dolphin or a killer whale type of That's shit. That's all I know. Like, cause I, I love the water. Yeah, like I love the water. <laughs> Dolphins are like sexual deviants, by the way. They like <laughs> so rape everything. Facts. Hunch so, everything. That was, yeah. that was part of the reason behind my answer. <laughs> 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 no, for sure. So we had another person on the uh, on the podcast talk about wolves. Uh, Steve O, OG Parker's manager. Shout um, out Steve O. He he was trying to say that like, is it true that alpha wolves? can be in front of the pack and in the back? Is, sure. is that a true? For sure. Oh, all right, cool. You can fact check that for us. That's true. Nah, for sure. Okay. Because the alpha decide. It depends on the enemy. Sometimes you might got to send the pack first to test them, to see. To check out shit. what's going. So now you know how to engage because you the one. That's hard. And you can, you know, you got to know how to maneuver in every situation. And the pack is protected from both ends that way. You mm -hmm. got to look out in the front. You need a leader in the back and a leader in the front. For sure, right? so. How would you say the like pack mentality of the wolves translates literally into like your music career, your personal life? Like, are there like parallels that you've seen behind like how you're moving in this music shit and like what a pack of wolves is up to? For shit show, like everybody that know me and know how I move my guys, I'm super militant and like Yego, like me, like. I'm goddamn the alpha wolf, like, and it ain't in terms of me being the toughest nigga ever or the whatever people may just think that is. It's like, nah, I got that too. I got that up top and I'm on that. That's what make me like that one. And then everybody around me like really play a position. They really got roles from mama wolf to little cuz wolf, to the baby wolves, to everybody. Like, it's a whole pack, you feel me? Saying you a wolf don't just mean, oh, I'm on demon time, I'm on woot woot. Nah, we got wolves that they ain't on none of that. 
They the nurturing ones. They the ones feed everybody. They the ones make sure everybody okay. They the one gonna come talk to you when you like. We a real pack. Like everybody play their role for real, for real. Some great parallels. That's hard. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and you know, for me, I'm such a like nature documentary guy. So I love like you know life and and like you know all the David Attenborough shit where he's you know just sure. you know narrating the fuck out of these like mm-hmm. insane animalistic environments like. I love the pack mentality, whether it's like African wild dogs or shit, right? Like the way they hunt. And I think even killer whales like hunting packs and shit too, right? Like I I definitely think that that's, you know, a- uh, It's called a, it's a different word for whales though. Is it like a a pod or something? Yeah, a pod of dolphins and shit too. Like the way they move in like unison (laughs) and to your point, like militant, like, you know what I mean? Where they're just like marching towards you, you know, towards like a a common goal. This is people we not too far away. I literally feel like the only difference between us and a dog or a dolphin or whatever the animal it may be is that we understand the concept of I got a time limit. Like, I'm going to die one day. They're just living. They, I don't feel like animals and other things. Like, Because I'm, I'm real close to animals and the way they act and things they do, they can't understand the concept of I may die doing this. Like, why would a dog eat some poison if he... You feel me? Like yeah. They don't get time. They don't, don't understand. Yeah, yeah, they don't understand the aspect. Us understanding time and that it's an inspiration date. Like, it got to be. And I feel it's really the biggest difference. And that brain in our head make us think we above an animal when we are just as of, but. No, it's interesting for sure. Yeah. So yeah. so how did Cardo discover you? What's, really? what's the Through story behind Mark that? Mark B. Through Mark B. Shout, Shout out, out DJ Mark, Mark B. B. Once again, for those of you sleeping under a rock, 21 Savages DJ amongst, you know, super dope producer and just overall like music industry cat for sure. Um, so so h- how did Mark B discover you like what's what's the backstory there <laughs> yeah where's the come up you know okay. <coughs> i told you it was good it's that purple <laughs> it's definitely good <laughs> courtesy of the one more but time studios it's like like i told you i love camera i really don't go outside like i'm a real outside person but not in the way of like going to clubs and things like that so one of my homies goddamn, his brother was a dj so they finally trying to get me outside they had just dropped a project called golden child and they like bro the only thing you need to do is go outside people need to hear it like djs need to play it i'm like man i don't care about that i'm not about to pay nobody to play my music i was that type artist you feel me so I finally go somewhere one day. And when I get there, break in off the stage. Like, Mark to B. leave, no. The person that I came that I knew was going to play my music because okay. that's the only way they really got me to go there because they like, I know the DJ for real. He my, one of my homies' brother. So he like, bro, I'm going to play your shit. Like, Yo, how pissed were out. you when you saw him getting off the stage? Bro, in my mind, like, <laughs> I'm like... <laughs> Nigga, we done came to the yeah. club and like right. you leaving. I can't even get my music played. Like for someone who also doesn't like to go out, if I'm promised something that then is like crumbling before my eyes, Double I'm, whammy. I'm pissed at the homies. Man, I'm like okay, but it's cool. Like I'm like shit. We here. Let's rock out. Mark B coming in. Everybody who with me already know who Mark B is. I don't for real, like at all. They're like man, that's Twenty One Savage DJ. I'm like, what? <laughs> They're like, nah, even before that, like he DJed at my college, like he brought this person out. I'm like, I don't know who this is, and I'm not paying him whatever he's talking about for me to <laughs> spend his music. What was he talking like, about? I think, honestly, at that time, I think he probably told them like $75, $80. Okay. For one spin? Yeah. Go. All the way through, yeah. It's yeah. It's so, tough, man. I think, I think. Respect, though, that he, if he was if getting I'm that. If wrong, I correct it. We're going to figure it out. When Mark Marlo, B, when Marlo look, walked back in, I look, him. Marlo, them the ones who asked him and stuff. Okay. You know what I'm saying? My pride too big at this time. I'm like, bro, I'm not walking up to nobody telling them how much the woo do Man, they're like, well, give us the money. I give it to him. Him and you. Man, him and you, God. You don't even want to be here. I dragged him in the club, so it's crazy that he the one, you feel me? Like, So he's more of a homebody than you? Yes. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Jew is way more of a homebody than okay. me. Like, oh, God, it's one of my artists on Tide Felt Records. He on the way for sure. Shout oh, out. Yeah. But, 
Man, they go up there, they pound. He spin the song. He say, man, who the fuck is this? He spin it back like, bro, no exaggeration. Like, five, six, seven times, easy. Like, Damn. dropping bombs, running back. He like, who is this? Not knowing I'm in the section right in front of him, under the DJ booth. I'm like, shit, we here. We might as well get the section shit. Boom. Man, I reach up. Like, nah, it's me. He instantly hand me his phone. I'm like, get my number. <laughs> Just like that. I'm like, it's up. I'm like, all right, cool. What was the song? Who is star? Is it still around somewhere? On the video on YouTube still, but I had to take that whole project down once I got signed and shit. So But the video is on YouTube. We'll put a link below. <laughs> Check that out. Who is stuff for shit show? That's the video that really started all this. And if you go see the views to this day, the views don't add up to the things that done happened to me so far. So don't be too worried about the numbers. Like for sure. Don't be too worried about the numbers. Yo, it's but, safe to say you got your money's worth, though. 80 bucks for, like, five or six spins? That's a lot better than just one, right? <laughs> Way better. Wait, he went crazy. Yeah. I'm like, hold on. Like, yeah, the he best went $80 crazy. he's ever spent. <laughs> best. I'm like, okay. Change your life. He start, He sent me some beats. No, I, I haven't even dropped. No, I did drop Golden Child. I did the looks of Golden Child. And he had sent me some beats. And I'm like, all right, I'll rip them. Boom, boom, boom. I add, like, two, three on to the deluxe. Drop that motherfucker. Boom. It's going crazy. Like, everybody fucking with it. Trouble reach out to me. R.I.P. Trouble. Because he heard Hood Star joint. He like, yeah, I fuck with you. Mark B. post Hood Star video on um, Instagram. Cardo seen it. DM me instantly. Like, wow. what's up? Him not knowing. I already know who he is for real. I'm like, oh, yeah, it's over with. <laughs> like, It's cool when stuff boom. like that happens because someone can tell you <laughs> that they fuck with you, right? Like, they like what you're doing. They follow your movement. But... When you get paid to play a song one time, you play it seven times. It's like that he clearly, definitely, genuinely nah, like, like, liked he, it. He really started like booking sessions for me, bringing me to the studio. like, And then one, one session, he just like, bro, like, I don't want to just make beats for you. Like, I feel like we can do something. Like, we can really go there. So we locked it in. Yeah. That's crazy. I mean, for me, like, for those out there that don't think it's worth paying a DJ, <laughs> I mean, I don't know, Facts. bro. Yeah. It worked out it's pretty well it. in your scenario. Facts. It's definitely worth it, but it's worth it if you know you got that. Like, I tell all my artists on my label and any artists I come in contact with, like, if you... I don't play my music to people for confirmation. I play it for affirmation. You feel me? And I hope the viewers is not that slow. <laughs> that was a bar. What I'm saying, like that was a bar. Yeah, like I, if you plan for confirmation, you burnt. It should not be that. It should never be for confirmation. It should be. I know it's that. I'm just affirming it with you. I just want to make sure you getting the same feeling I'm feeling. It ain't a question to me, bro. Affirmation over confirmation for sure. But how many artists out there do you think are like? Delirious and think that they're shit. majority. <laughs> exactly, that's the hardest part about what majority. you're saying. Majority, because I feel it. Like with, with what you're saying, when it actually is true, and like the artist does have some shit to be, you know, <laughs> affirming. I get it. But like, there's also some fucking artists out there who should get a second opinion Talk <laughs> about their music. Talk like, to him, Ben. Fact. I'm just saying, nah, man. Let him know. That's big facts. They're just saying, <laughs> like I said, if you one of them elevated status, you feel me? You ain't on Ricky mode. You on all Madden? <laughs> you got to know you on all Madden. Yeah. Don't be acting like a Ricky if you know your skill set on all Madden. Man. For sure. So, you know, Cardo hits you up, says he's fucking with your shit, you know, you said in another interview, he sends you some beats, you immediately fire them back. Fire them. I'm yeah. recording at home at that time. Yep. Yeah, yeah. So just like easy, you know, Same easy night. shit for you. Same. Instant. Like hours later? What? Minutes. <laughs> I'm not crazy. I know who this is. And I don't know this yeah. guy from nowhere. He done cracked up in my DM. I'm like, oh yeah, I got to get busy. I'm like, come on. Does he usually come to you that quickly, or was that a rare thing where it was like the stars aligned? That's motivating. You know? the stars aligned. That was my the project I dropped. That all them stars saying was my twentieth project, bro. Twentieth. I had other rap names, a bunch of junk folk that no no. Like I've been wow. paying DJ Plug to drop my stuff on live mixtapes and DJ Corrupt since I was like 13, 14, wow. paying cash out my pocket. 
Ben Shun getting videos shot, all that. Like, damn. For real. So, so twenty projects in. Like, how many times over that period did you want to give up? Can't count. Wow. And everybody around you will tell you like, nah, I don't want them. Like, I bug up. Like, nigga, I don't need this. Like, I can't. Uh, mm-hmm. I can't go do something else. Like, I don't. I don't gotta deal with this to get this. But my love for the music and shit every time and the people around me push me through. I'm like, nah, bro. And they end up saving me every time though. When they really get bad, I'm like, the music come through. Yeah, so like what did keep you going? Was it the support system and shit, or was it like, you know, some just insatiable thing that you had inside of you of like, I gotta fucking scratch this itch to do this shit? Like what, I feel what was it? It was 50 50. My yeah. uncle who died, Courtney, who mostly managed me like my whole life, he was like. Rest in peace, Unc. Rest in peace. For like sure. A shit show. He was one of the people that, like, I got that. Like how I just said earlier, don't look for confirmation, affirmation. He a person that I look for for confirmation, though. The only person I feel ever in my life I don't look for for real confirmation. Like, if he don't think it's cool, it ain't cool. Like, if he, don't, if, he, if he ain't rocking out to it, it ain't going. So it's like him pushing me really and me and that being our bun, the music, always drove me to do it. But then also that itch, you feel me, just that I knew I could do it. Like I knew I was talented enough to end up in these positions I'm at today. I knew it. It's something we kind of talked about lately. So you think it's okay to take creative breaks? Yes, you have to. You will burn yourself out. Yeah. You will burn yourself out. Living proof. I burned myself out at a point like, boom, you sign, you got everything right here. I'm I'm a work horse. Like, as folk, I go, I do this. Like, the studio, <laughs> for real, like, the studio is my everything. We bringing the girls here. We going to smoke here. We going to party here. We going to everything here, bro. I got to be making music. Even when I wasn't even at the studio, I was at my house. Folk can tell you what's right there on what I'm doing. I'm recording. Like, I'm getting busy. Like, that's what I do. So, so over those, you know, 20 projects, what would you say was like the biggest L you took? Is there one thing that kind of sticks out as, as like, fuck, like that was, that was kind of a tipping point of like, I was really, really about to quit because of, some fuck shit. Mm. Trying to think. It was just so many times a nigga wanted to really be like it's over with. Is it mostly like but business stuff? Business deals and business stuff gone wrong? Stuff is it's it's me knowing I'm talented enough and I ain't gonna even name the label, but me meeting with people and they like the whole office, like people walking out their rooms to come listen to the music, they like, is it? And guess what they do to me? And I'm young. I'm 16, 17. They flip the camera around and say, but look at your views. Mm. You know? Like, they're like, it's hard. It's crazy. Like, it's amazing. But where these folk literally pulled up how many people lived in my city and put my views next to it. Shit. Mm. That wow. sounds like a it, Yeah. Like, like a no trend. cap. Oh, man. Come on, now. They really trying to be like, bro, you that nobody. Be, that Even would be tough. though, like. I done always had my areas and people that knew me that always mess with me. Like, and I'm like, okay. I feel like that was one of the biggest things that was like, nah, like, you got to show and prove because if this has it's going. So as someone who's, you know, got aspirations of owning a label and like breaking other artists following in your, you know, footsteps or whatever, right? Like, do you see where they're, Come at, like, you know what I mean? How, how much of the, the data are you going to be going off of when you're putting money behind artists, you know, for your label, for example? It's like... It's interesting again, playing for both yeah, kind of sides. It's 50-50 it's because it's like, at the end of the day, <clears throat> every artist that really transcend, they either have that connect directly with the fans to where we don't know why this music is doing this good. But it is, like a Kodak, like a Kevin Gates, like, like a person a yeet. that's like a <laughs> yeah. young boy. Like yes. They don't yeah. got to be played on the radio, none of that, none but of that. people are connecting. People are connecting. And then it's going to be another group, Batch, that's like, if we push this, we put as much money possible, this is going to go because it's good enough to go. 
And you got to have discernment on both ways. You shouldn't shun nobody because they don't got the most lyrical, spiritual stuff, but you know it to connect, and you can't shun an artist that, like, he may not got the numbers, but he got the connection if we were able to put some fire on it. Yeah, I definitely don't envy the the job of, like, record label A&Rs and, you know, executives mm -hmm. because it's, like, to your point, it's, like, this chicken or the egg bullshit, right? Where yeah. it's, like, you need <laughs> views, but you don't have money, so it's harder to get views. But to your point, there is this select weird group of artists that find a way to build this, like, strong fan base, bro, where it's like, Straight you don't understand. To the audience. Yeah, it's like, you know, So Fago, you know, is also one that I look at, right? Like, obviously crazy. now, now he's got, you know, label connections or whatever. But prior to that, the reason why the label was, you know, fucking with it so hard is because like, you look at it, you look at his numbers and it was like, how are you rallying the internet so crazy around you? You know what I mean? It's cult fans. It's people that are like oh, spreading fix. him to their fans. You no, know, these fix. people that, that, that he's like the only person they listen to. And that's why I feel made me a rarity is I can't do that. That's not my game. I'm one of those rare instances. I feel like literally me rapping into a microphone and it being good enough that people like it. Where I, bro, before I got signed, bro, I had probably 2,000 followers, bro. I'm not a social media nigga, like at all. Like, and I feel I, like you, But you still don't think that that could happen to you, though? It's going to happen because now I'm able to produce the music in a way that it's going to be seen. Like, yeah, yeah, like, and it's at a high level now where it's in folk face, so it's going to happen for sure. But, like I say, it's different. If you know how to do that, like, because that's a talent, like, that's a talent to know exactly what to post. Oh, trust me. <laughs> so, People talk about it's a, how... It's like abstract art. It's like, I don't know if it's good or not. It, Maybe. It, it's like <laughs> artists nowadays need to be leveling up their music skills equal as much as their content creation skills. Mm -hmm. And it's this weird fucking thing where it's like rappers didn't sign up to be fucking TikTokers, but yeah. bro, you've you got to do it. That's how you got get your to. numbers up now. That's it. Got yeah. to. So you it's shorts. You know I mean? You're doing YouTube shorts. And it'd be like <laughs> before, that's what I'm saying. Like, I'm gonna speak on both ends. Like before, I'm like, nah, I ain't doing none of that. Not being signed to being on inside, knowing like, oh, I gotta do that. So that see he's playing that. both and sides then, of the game. I'm like, it's okay. Crazy. Say no more. Like, okay. Like, man. I, I think crazy. you're interesting at least because you do, you're smart enough to understand that it's necessary. Now, whether you want to like be doing it as much as you need to, that's a whole other thing. Mm -hmm. But there's so many people who have even sat up here and like, just don't even think that it's important. And it's like, you're smart enough to realize yeah. like, bro, this is the game. Like, how far you want to go. It, yeah, exactly. How far you want to go. Yeah. Decide that. So, and that's what broke a lot of artists heart because you, you, Thinking of where you want to go, but you ain't thinking of what it really take to get there. That's I know hard. exactly where I'm trying to end up at and exactly what it's going to take for me to get there. Once I get there, man, you can do whatever the hell you want. Like, yeah. Now, that's, that's so true, man. I mean, mm. I can't remember who we also had on, but it's exactly that of like, you know, before this person, I can't remember who it was, man, but they were talking about like before I started working with someone, like you can smell the hunger. Like whether yeah. it's there, it's come up a couple times. I think, yeah. yeah. I, well, yeah, I think it was Naj, who's you know, mm. you know, U.S. A and R manager for TikTok, and has been at LVRN and you know others. Right? He talked about like recognizing it early, recognizing whether these artists or you know any creative really, whether you're seriously willing to do everything, what the take. fuck it takes. Yeah, and it take a lot. I'm telling you, so it much, take man. Lot. Yeah, it take a lot. Do you think that you thought it? you know, took a lot more before you got signed or now that you're signed, do you think like, <laughs> oh fuck, it really takes a lot. You know what I mean? Like, did you already know? It's like, I knew, but I ain't know. You don't yeah. ever really know until <laughs> yeah. you in the situation. You really don't, you feel me? And then you realize like, nah, this take work that you said earlier, you ain't even signed up for. Like, like, I gotta do what? <laughs> <laughs> it's not what you want to do. Come guarantee on, that yeah it's not your Come first on, thing no. it's not all mm -hmm. just you know Never. recording sessions yeah, yeah. People, I wish it was for you guys I really wish that it was record like, I mean, put the music out yeah. shoot some videos and just yeah. and just the best artist wins like I, I wish shows. that was the thing it's no not, not unfortunately the game. no it's a whole algorithm it's a lot yeah. of things going on man <laughs> for sure hey you gotta how far are you trying to go 
Do you think the do you think the uh, do you think the paid DJ spin strategy still works in 2023? Nope. Think that's over with now? Over. Yeah. Gunshot. Dead. <laughs> Dead. <laughs> <laughs> Over with. R.I.P. Ain't. to the DJ. It's Bro, not the same anymore. Strategy. Can't no. If you gonna go pay now, you gotta spend some money. So the price if went you up. Know what that mean? You know what that mean? Not even just that, cause now I feel like it already been in that wave. Like low key, people just don't know yet. Like it been a wave of what happened to me for a few artists. Like of us going from literally just making our music. With this little bitty pocket of people knowing about us to two. Like, I can name multiple. Like, and that doesn't even been up here. I like, feel like, for real. Yeah. Like, that's just randomly two. Yeah. I feel like the last guy that's an example of coming up kind of like that <clears throat> is Money Man. Mm-hmm. So everything he's doing, he still managed to be like kind of the underground street rapper that like yeah. everyone in Atlanta knows about. But outside of that, you know, it's... Not much going on, right? Yeah, unless you tap into like the super, super underground, and that's where you get to coming into the <clears throat> to the yo dogs, to the surf, yeah, to the Tony Snow. Call them out. You feel me? Now, nah, like it's a whole wave cooking, like, and folk ain't really. Pay, I ain't gonna say folk ain't paying attention because the right people is, and that's what make it crazy. Like yeah. the right people are already. Know what's going on and see the next generation of people from the Ken Carsons to the motherfucking Rock Kens. Like, come on. Yeah. Yeah. No, absolutely. Like, so I did want to dive a little bit more into the, <laughs> you know, Raised by Wolves project. So, like, what was the the making of the album like? You know, I mean, like, did you lock in with Cardo in person? Or is it like sending beats over email? Like, you know, talk to us about like the making of the project. A uh, majority of it. Was a sending beats. Yeah. You feel me? Mm-hmm. <clears throat> but I feel the meat of it was us together. Parlay together. Was outside together. Love that one. Um, was Funny Uns together? I think Funny Uns was together. Um, trying to think of all the records off that motherfucker right now. Even on the ones that were emailed beats, does, does Cardo see the kind of guy that will help like? Even after you record, you know, have some kind of input and do um, some post production. For sure, but I ain't gonna lie. I feel like he love what I do so much. He yeah. rarely do that. Yeah, he do it more when we in person. Okay, you feel me? When he in person, cause he like you. I right, if I send it, he like nah. Yo did exactly what he was supposed to do on it. But in person, he like I see exactly where you could. Nah, he can actively he can actively say something like yeah. nah. Keep this flow. Cause I like to switch. I don't like to stay on the same flow for more than four bars. Mm-hmm. But it'll be on a part of the beat where it's like, you got to, yo, you got to. I don't care. I'm about to <laughs> swerve. <laughs> and he'll tell me if we in person, like, nah, keep that flow. Keep bouncing how you bouncing. Like, yeah. people want to hear that. You want to hear what you want to hear. But, like, keep your flow. Like, Doing some vocal production. I like it. I just think that's so cool, right? To challenge artists. I think that's what, when the best music is made, bro, is that like another set of like, you know, reputable ears and someone who has a track record of making fucking hits. Like you're going to at least try what what he's saying, right? You got to. Whatever you're saying. Yeah. But it did remind me when you were saying how like he trusts you or whatever. Yeah, he do. Why did why did uh you know DJ Khaled when he's talking about Drake he's like I like what Drake like I don't know why that popped in my head but it's like Cardo being like I like what Yo Dog likes <laughs> it's actually nah, this, sure. there's an underrated skill as a producer of just like you know working with you know like people that you already like their sound and recognizing when something is good you know like you don't have to change something just to change it yeah just for the sake of changing for sure yeah that's the worst um so so how do you like to create Right, so you know, Cardo sends a beat. Like, what you know? What's your vibe? You're set. You said like you, you record like record yourself at home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Set up too. Now I be hey, I still got my setup and I still cook up there, but most of the time now I'm in the studio. I'm in the big studio. Goddamn, big old mixing board and shit. That Man, you don't what? ever that touch. No one. Yeah. Use, they put a laptop on top of it. Yeah, and put the ox up. <laughs> and that's what. That's why I'm at most of the time. <laughs> Unlimited yeah. snacks, beverages, all that. But that's what you want. 
Yeah, you definitely want it. Definitely do. Like, my favorite studio is Paramount. Like, that's my favorite Shout studio. Out. Like, Although now it's going to be the One More Time Studios because we got Unlimited Purple. That's right. Uh, no cap. Oh. I was like, and both of you guys have been like choking <laughs> a little bit on it. I oh, did. Oh, God. Unlimited Purple and it's smoking. <laughs> yeah. It's smoking. So, well, we yeah, are you like it? No, just like talking about how you create, right? Oh, yeah, like, yeah, you know, yeah. so you're obviously in the studio. I don't write. Don't write. You punch it. Don't in. write. Yes. Yeah. I don't write at all. Like, I straight, I don't even pre listen the beats before I come to the studio for real. Mm-hmm. Unless I'm working on like reference tracks or trying to make like a certain type of song. But for my music, like, when I really go record, like, nah. I wanna hear that beat right then. My first thought, I wanna do it. Yeah. Let's go. Here it's on. There's something to be said about definitely when you hear something too much, and it can happen fast. If you listen yeah. to something too much when you're working on a song, if you don't, if you lose the vibe of it, it's, is it, it's like, is it even worth continuing on it? And I'm already unorthodox. Like, that's why me and Cardo, his beat making and me rapping match so good. So it's like, my first thought is always a little lift. Like, once I go do it, like, I don't really been in studios and like producers like, bro, you, you off beat or like, <laughs> you know, like, yeah. Oh, I think you should slow down or speed up or whatever. And I'm like, wait till I finish what I'm doing. Yeah. And then they're like, oh, damn. Like, this all came kind of together. Like, yeah. I like to cook like that. So that's why I feel like me and him is a good match because I don't write. And I like to be able to sporadic think. I like to be able to say whatever, do whatever flow I want to do at any point on the beat. Like, I like to be able to just paint. I just go crazy. And people that rap like early or late, the people that like them, I think like them for that. That's their, it's part of the style. It's like jazz musicians playing like whatever the fuck note they want to. And it's just jazz, you know, it's like, it's <laughs> yeah. part of their style. No, I mean, it's, whatever it is. It, it's funny. I was literally going to ask my next question about like, what do you think works so well between you and Cardo? And you yeah. just like took the, you know, it's like <laughs> you read my mind of that was what I was going to ask next. So that was, that was fire. So yeah, it's, like, it's it. yeah, it's kind of that unorthodox delivery that you have his production can like tolerate that. Whereas mm, yeah. other, other producers, maybe it would sound like a little jarring. He don't overcloud the beats. Exactly what you mean by jarring. He don't put too many instruments for me to not be able to go where I want to. He don't force a lane. That's the biggest you know? thing I hear right there between just beat makers that are playing their beats back and beats that I hear on the radio. The placement beats are always minimal. Yeah. There's never you don't you can't have these giant horn sections up in the mix doing the most like there's mm-hmm. gonna be a lead vocal on it if it's hip hop you know assuming there's gonna be a lead vocal on it so and don't get me wrong like because like on Nick's project it's hella other producers like it's just like not over clouding it like still if you whether it's your dog or not but if you trying to really like you say get a placement with them leave room for them to create too. And it can still be intricate. Mm-hmm. It's not saying you have to just be leave the room. simplest shit ever, but We're leave room. be able to be another instrument on it, not to just have to rap. The voice is the last instrument. Mm-hmm. So 20 projects in, right? Like, how have you evolved? Like, what's the biggest difference between, like, first project Yo Dog <laughs> to 20th project Yo Dog? <laughs> I'm like, fucking, I'm a monster now. Like, I'm fucking Super Saiyan. What's the end, nigga? Like... I'm the highest Super Saiyan level ever. Go like, and it's still going. <laughs> like, it's getting worse and worse. <laughs> or better and better, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> whichever way. Worse, worse for us. Way. Worse for everyone else. Yeah. <laughs> whichever way. Worse for the competition. Be, yeah. Better for you, dog. Wait. It's like, <laughs> damn. I just lost my thought. Is, Damn. Is it kind of like the 10,000 hours thing at this point where it's like... Yeah, it's like I done lift so many weights. Like, I'm just tossing shit now. It's like you throw me whatever in the gym and I'm just, nigga, get that out of here. <laughs> like, you know, it's like I really did that. I'm a nigga that for years locked myself in the basement and recorded. I didn't go to a club, a fucking concert. I've been to two concerts in my life. Wow. Like, I'm telling That's you. That's Which I, ones? Um, J. Cole, Forest Hill Drive. Amazing. 2014. Yeah. I think that's when it was. Yep. Man, yeah. Was crazy. Amazing. Uh, man, what that's what really made me want to like take rap serious. Can't lie. Like on some extra, extra. Just what about it? Shit. That show, you mean? Yeah, that oh, show it had that to have album. Changed it's you. like it's probably it's his best album. Yeah. Arguably. For sure. Yeah. Some people do. That and Born Center, for sure. Mm-hmm. Um, what's the other damn concert I've been to? Damn. 
I'm trying my to own who concert. Was. I just remember <laughs> mine was crazy. Yeah, that was ridiculous. <laughs> but I know it was Future, Thug, YG, Big Sean. Who the hell oh, I man. went to see, man? It was like a festival. Nah, that's that's Forest Hill Drive. That's who I opened up for a broker. Oh, I'm trying shit. to think of a concert I've been to after that. Damn, I'm forgetting something. That but might be it. That's who I opened up. For him at that shit And that's why that shit wow. Was so legendary It's a little bro. different Than we thought That yeah. sounds like a Coachella like, lineup Like We at Lakewood <laughs> Yeah <laughs> mm-hmm. oh, Damn On me Wow At Lakewood Like Damn that's crazy But like So What What else did you do Besides putting in the reps Like recording Right what, You know Were you studying people at all Or like Like What else influenced you To make you become better Right you know what I mean? Or was it just strictly the the like hours recording? I feel like it go back to um, like I tell my uncle a real music head, like a sit me down. He ain't had he my young my dad younger sibling. Okay. So I'm like his little brother in a way. Yeah. So he would sit me down and play blueprint, play food and liquor, and break it, not just play it, like you get what he said right here? Yeah. Like he did this this kind of triple entendre. This is kind of, you feel me? Like he he loved music so much. That's why I said was he was half of my real push because he really that was our connect was the music and that since a kid like I'm round round with him. He really teaching me about music like good music. He a super hip hop head like the shit I like while I'm coming up. Soldier Boy hated it. He like what garbage <laughs> like you feel me? Yeah. like it's cool like I get what y'all are doing but garbage. Yeah, going from Lupe Fiasco hater. to, uh, to Soul, he was yeah, my to first hater. my first hater. He was telling me like it is music I. Right. Wow. Once I knew, that's why I said he was my first confirmation. Boom! Yeah. Like once he started being like, nah, you going crazy? <laughs> like it damn. meant a lot to you. Yeah. Boom. Because yeah, like, learning about the structure of the song and like where that sample came from and oh, what kind exactly. of harmonies a singer exactly. does right here makes it so much more interesting. Exactly, right? because mm-hmm. we've had a lot of people on the show who have talked about like their uncles or parents or you know brothers, sisters, friends, whoever that have put them on music. So it's one thing to get put on just like to hear the other music, mm-hmm. but to have it like broken down as to like what the fuck is happening in this music and why it makes it what so makes good. It special. Yeah, that's different. I'm really different. showing me different between classes. I argue, y'all ever come to one of my studio sessions, I argue about music all the time. This is like my <laughs> healthy for favorite for the love. time. Yeah. Like how niggas argue about sports. Yeah. All that, they got argue about music. If you're not arguing like, about sports, <laughs> are you enjoying it? Like, that's it's the, the, com- Man, the competition, like, you know? Music, he really broke it down to like really let me know like, bro, this is who do this. Like, this who do that. He's good for this. He's good for that. This is what I like. And I feel I really became a damn... Gumbo of what I liked about every artist. And that's what I be telling people all my lives about innovating. Don't copy nobody. Don't try to be them. Take what you like and turn it into you. Yes. Yeah. It starts with being inspired. Mm-hmm. What was the most recent studio argument? Can you remember like <laughs> what you were arguing about? The 808 is under um, key. By me telling people, never mind. No, come um, on. We need let's it. Let's go. You, we're halfway there. We were arguing about gravity. And I said, right. I don't believe in gravity. Oh, God. Oh, it was Lord. a scientific thing? <laughs> that was the last. <laughs> are, are you a flat earther? Flat earther. Are you? Yeah. Oh, God. Flat earther. So you, you follow Kyrie on Twitter? <laughs> nah, I don't even be on. I told you I don't be on social True, media. True, yeah. You did say that. <laughs> Hell no. Nah. Man, you got to get a team to handle your Twitter or something, bro. <laughs> yeah. I don't say nothing, though. Actually, Honestly. I did look at your Twitter. Do you want to know what it is? What? All retweets. Yeah. This dude hasn't <laughs> tweeted an original tweet in like seven months. <laughs> I was like, God, I'm not getting much other than like him retweeting people but, that are tweeting his music. I was like, well, that's but, cool. I get on there and I did retweet, but yeah. now nah, I got to get on it. It was just like, all tweets about your project that other people had tweeted. And I was like, all right, this is like cool. That, that's just know. what it looks like when someone told you that it was look, important. When you don't I really want to do it. Yeah. Like, I don't believe in gravity. Y'all going to get it. It's on some real satire. Like. Okay. All right, it's called the theory, right? Okay. It's not gravity. called the, fa- the theory of the gravity. Definition yeah, of okay. theory. It's my best. Ge- I think it's unproven. Theories are unproven. I be coming from that tight way, like nigga, just stop believing <laughs> everything. Like you hey, can subscribe. Hey. Yeah, it be coming from that level, like. I think I'll we need a whole talking. part two for this discussion. <laughs> oh, I don't know if we have enough time to cover this. Definitely. I think I think I'm, I think mind's, I think mindsets are being like morphed. You know, yeah, for sure. I'll that's, just leave it at that's that. That's funny. Nah. So what? 
what I think is real special about you, man, to be honest, is like your ability to blend that like authentic Atlanta street shit with like the more artsy, creative, you know, visuals and even just like the wolf themes and some of that like artsy shit that like a lot of street dudes might not even care. They wouldn't even pick these beats. That too. The beat selection mm -hmm. and the visuals. Like the visuals for the Raised by Wolves songs, I think there's like three, four, three, three videos out maybe mm -hmm. so far. Three. And and they're all just, I mean, they're they, simple. They create a world. They're simple yet so creative and engaging that like even the one where you and Carter are just in one room for the whole video, somehow it, it kept it engaging and like it was creative, right? In that sense. Mm -hmm. And and man, shout out to you guys for being able to do that because artists are always quick to fucking bitch about like, oh, I can't do a music video for this. It's too expensive, blah, blah, blah. You guys were in a fucking room and that I was spent, it. I spent all the expenses on them videos. Like, I ain't going to say the exact number, but like... It was low. Ish. No? No, that one might have been slightly hey. lower, but the other one's probably not. Hey, look, I'm going to put it this way. <laughs> I shot all them videos in three days. Wow. Really? All together, same location, swiping in and out of rooms, going to different spots every night wow. for certain shit like that. Hey, I, uh, hefty price, hefty, hefty. It's, it's something about the limitations though. <laughs> when, <laughs> when you're what? when you're limited, it kind of forces you to be creative in different ways. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah, but the one where y'all are just in the one room, the major expense was of that, that the third one you shot. Was that like the last one? No, that yeah, one it was. It was through the days, but okay. that was that like one the had easiest to, one. Yeah, yeah for sure. But it also the most expensive part about that had to just be all the money you guys were, <laughs> were fucking around with, right? That, that definitely, you feel me? I'm like because the set I shot was, these you know, videos on film. Oh, oh wow! So it was the Watch way every video they burn out. Pay attention now that I said it. Damn. I see. shot every one of these videos. Do y'all know how much film costs? I oh, didn't I mean, either. A lot. Is, this one I'm telling you, I did not pay. I had a full crew. Yeah. A full crew. I'm already not. I'm having a person in a diaper. They holding him by a damn thing <laughs> while I'm riding the bike. He recorded me while I'm riding up the street. Was that the like, pizza one? Wasn't... Yeah, the pizza delivery? You feel me? That was hard. Man. We bought that pizza spot out for that. Like, yeah. it was no business. This wasn't an abandoned pizza spot. Like once we got done, they opened up for business. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, so how did you choose the director for those? Because it was the same director for all three. Yeah. How did you um, choose that person? Um, through Mez. I'm trying to remember. Mez, how. Mez, as in like. Mez. Yeah. Mez, yes. Like, yeah. He made music. I saw Harris Entertainment, right and now. yeah, he's a super fire rapper. I wish uh, he was like dropping more music, but now I think he's focusing on his like sure. yeah, yeah his visuals me? and shit. He tapped me in with Aaron, Aaron D. Like he um based out of New York, and like soon I seen his work, I'm like, cause crazy. Like okay, so it was like you got put on, you saw what he had already done before, and you were like, okay, this guy can execute yeah, what I'm trying to do. Yeah, shit, I help you know direct it, come up with these treatments, things like that, and him and um Aaron really. Yeah, because Mez is a North Carolina guy. Facts. Yeah, yeah. So he he's from like Durham, I think, or some mm -hmm. shit. Or yeah, yeah. Because like I got put on to him because I went to school at UNC Chapel Hill. So okay. Yeah, so I I got put on Mez from a college. You know, I got the biggest library in the world. Really? Yeah. It makes sense. It's, I mean, there's like four libraries there. Yeah. Also, the basketball season just started. He hasn't mentioned UNC in a long time, and they, of course, they're number one right We're now. We're number so one. I, I didn't even make want to sure rub to it in, bring it up. Yeah, uh, I miss with UNC. Man. Found a way to squeeze it in there. I miss with anything with the NC. Sure did. Yep, yep. So, okay, how do the treatments then come to life? So you choose Aaron. Like, yeah. is it a collaborative thing, or did he come to you I with a treatment? I can literally type out hella shit in my phone. Oh, really? Da 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 da. da. Send it to Dante. Or am I lying? <laughs> it's confirmed. I type, type a whole motherfucking my way of a treatment. You yeah. feel me? At the most roughest way ever. Send it over. But when they take that, made it realistic. Got right. down, added things, took some things out, you know, made it. Like, okay, we get where you're going with it. Like, yeah. the look you're trying to go for. Okay, let's do it. I think that's what you want, right? That's in, in a video team, for sure. Yeah, but so I'm always interested to hear this. Like, when you made each of those songs, was the visual already pretty much? No. All right. I, I record too quick. Yeah. 
Yeah, I record. So then quick. you did have to like sit down and think about like, okay, yep. cool. What's this video? Okay, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. interesting. Because some people like have this real movie like shit in their head when they're making this song. He's busy thinking of the next bar. Like the He's- car spinning, the suit, the sniper. Like these things I t- had typed down. There's notes in the damn like. Yeah, the du- like- yeah, the, you know, the duo <laughs> with the masks. That that Bruh. acting was. So- you guys That's are like crazy. so like caricatures of people. It's Man, so it was funny. funny as hell. That had like, to have been hilarious. Some yeah. acting gigs was, in your future. I ain't gonna maybe? lie. That's the funny. Definitely, man. Hey, Let's go. All acting roles. Fucking. Was that you and Cardo? Yeah. In those masks? Okay, yeah. Well, because you can't really tell with the mask. So like, he the one bought the damn MacBook <laughs> yeah. and threw it. That's him. <laughs> okay. That's him. Shout look, out. Because y'all look so on the one more time. You podcast. look so goofy. It was amazing. Like it was perfect for the it scene. You know, people are walking out. They imagine we on the street. Exactly. <laughs> we ain't legally blocked off this street. And we, people is walking out their house like, yo, <laughs> w- what is going on? Yeah. It's two folk with masks walking up the street. Like, until they see the camera people, how do you feel? You walk out your house and would have seen this. I would have gone back in the house. <laughs> For sure. Yeah. <laughs> today, not today. Not call, today. Call in oh, sick God. to work. Be like, uh-huh. there's two guys in masks outside my <laughs> house. I can't go. On me. That jump was the funniest thing I never did so yeah. far. Yeah. No, it, 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 they, they turned out amazing, man. For sure. So we talked about this briefly. You know, you have your own own label already. Shout it out one more time. Mm-hmm. Tied Forever Records. Tied Forever Records. How many Probably artists do we have on the on the roster so far? Oh, right now, I think like four, five. Okay. And so... Um, we got... Yeah, go ahead. Judah Prophet. We got Lil Geek. We got Benji Stone. Yo, Lil Geek's we hard. Got we got Lonely Lifestyle. The, uh, yeah, we saw him at the uh, at the Finders Keeper show, I think, right? Oh, or, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, he was crazy. Yeah. Shout out to my boy D-Man, too. Crazy. Awesome. So you have aspirations of becoming like a Diddy, Coach P, or Coach K, Peak, you know, kind of character, you know, from what yeah, you said in another sure. interview. What do you think it actually takes to get to that level, man? Like, what's the plan, you know? Having the eye, having the ear. You actually doing it for yourself. You feel me? Like, Diddy already had done it before Bad Boy came to his this. He already knew what it took to make a hit to accomplish things in the music. So now let me go apply the program. Like, so with Peter saying thing, QC wasn't his first move he ever did in the music. Nah, he was able to do that move because the experience he done learned. So really, you got to learn. You got to really take everything on with this game, soak everything up, every meeting. Anybody you come in contact to that is at a point that you want to be, be at, you got to soak up the information. Yeah, you seem like a sponge and like someone that likes to learn. A learner. Shit show. Which I, I think that's what's going to be a big part of like why. I mean, obviously the music's incredible and like your work ethic seems like that too. But I feel like so many people are just not open-minded enough and like mm-hmm. know what they don't, you know, it's okay to know that you don't know something and like want to learn it. It's you know what I mean? It's necessary to admit that you don't know things. Yeah. I would say you yeah. have to be able to do that. Is he going to stay slow? And that's what I meant about the wolf pack. The wolves ain't arguing about who doing this and who doing that. Like, nah, nigga. Like, if you, man, this man's smart. He know what he talking about. We not about to go with you because you got down whatever. Like, nah, man, chill. Like, everybody is good at what they good at, man. Put them people there. Have them people be able to speak on you. Cardo can sit there. Dante can sit there. Mark can sit there. Mark B can sit there and say things by me. You should do this. You should do that. They're in the studio with me. They listen and they actually listen to music. They do shit. You think I'm listening to somebody that don't even listen to music tell me what I should be doing in the studio? No. It don't make sense. It's interesting, like, that approach, though. Some people are okay, like, you know, because it goes back to the whole, like, a basketball coach doesn't have had to, like, play basketball to necessarily mm, to be, be, like, the top coach. coach. But I For guess sure. I guess to that point though they're still like tangentially they involved. It. Yeah, yeah, was watching. No, true. I didn't say you had to make music. Know what you talking about? Like really, true. like listen, understand the sound, understand what's going on. Like, but they why never is felt going on? Why is special? Like I said, Aunt said to me, there's a lot of people that don't even know why they like what they listen to. Like, but the coaches never felt what it's like to take the game-winning jumper. That's oh, true. Man, yeah, that's true. Yeah. So you mentioned in another interview about like, you know, 
making sure that, you know, you stand out and that you're differentiated, like from mm-hmm. the other people out there, like, what would you say? Like, how would you sum up the differentiation of Yo Dog? Like what is special about what you got going on in your sound? I feel I don't sound like nobody. You don't hear my music and be like, think of nobody. Mine is like, shit, it's your dog. Yeah. Like, it's I can definitely attest. My cadences, the pockets I'm able to get into, the way I'm able to come in on beats, like, oh, it, it's, it's, it's different. It's some people ain't heard. Like I said earlier, it ain't about being the most lyrical, spiritual person. Like, that's not what I'm in it for. I'm not just in it to prove, like, oh, my God, I'm the best rapper ever. Nah, but I know I'm hard as hell. Like, I want to be respected for what I do, like, and the level I do it at. And I know I'm better than most motherfuckers, like, period. So I feel like everyone's always trying to improve, even like a Kendrick or a Cole or whatever, right? But at the same time, they've clearly found kind of their their pocket and, like, you know, found their sound. Do you think you're there? Like, can you feel it, like, It's recently? on the way. On the way still? Yeah, it's on the way. Okay. Because, like, a lot of the songs we're going to drop on my next project, they recent, you know, like, they songs that's like, nah, this got to go. Like, cause you in your bag. Like, you hit another level. Like, my vault is deep. Like, super deep. I got too many songs. We could just drop a project every other week if we wanted to. <laughs> like, that ain't the purpose. Like, that's a good problem. They really want me to put out my best work for real, for real. Like, yeah. So that I feel like I'm 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 getting there. Getting there. It's on the way. Okay, it's for on sure. The way, for sure. So you mentioned an upcoming project. Could we get a one more time exclusive? Can we get a date? Can we get a name? What are we doing? Man, Diego's way. That's Diego's hard. way. For sure. That's hard. Is that the first time you've yeah. announced that? I think so. Let's go That's then. The we love a one more time yeah, exclusive. Definitely on camera. For yes, sure. Yes, sir. <laughs> when can we expect it? Uh, top of next year. Thinking like another 10? What, what kind of piece? Yeah. Probably a little more. Give him a little more this time, okay. Yeah, you know, Mike, like I said, I got so much music, you know, so we about to get some of it out, some of the hardest of it. Yep. Absolutely, man. Right. Well, yo, I'm excited for that shit because if you think, or if you're telling me that it's you more in your bag than you were on, on uh, Raised by Wolves, I can't even imagine. On, so I'm, I'm looking forward to it. Henry, we have entered a final segment of the podcast, Where the Fuck Are We At? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> this is the rapid fire rampage. <laughs> What's going on? Exactly. What is going on? It's going to be a three part rampage. Okay. We'll just go part by part. First part is just some simple, short answer questions. Simple. They're simple ish, simple to medium simple. kind of range. <laughs> You'll be the judge. Right. Part one this is the short answer with Yo Dog. One more time podcast, episode 81. What is your mother's maiden name, the name of your first pet, and the last four of your social security number? I'm not saying none of that. <laughs> um, my first pet was a goddamn name on Lex. Yep. Lex? You can get that. Okay. Don't give him any more. That's, <laughs> yeah, that's already sure. more than I was <laughs> expecting. <laughs> Did not think that's where that was going, Henry. <laughs> I didn't either. You're a wolf for one day. Mm-hmm. What, what do you do? I'm going to go hunt all day. We about to go crazy. Just get all the deer. There's hella deer all around here. They're around. All of them. We need a mall. We need a fucking mound of deer. <laughs> deer pile. <laughs> you need a giant pile. Yeah, he wants a deer feast. Oh, crazy. God. Thanksgiving for the wolves, man. <laughs> wow. So uh, this is a, a new one. I'm gonna I'm gonna do a compilation. So you're the first one. What day is the first day of the week? Sunday. One vote for Sunday. Wow. I think we'll do like 20 of these, to be <laughs> okay. fair. Episode 100, we dropped the compilation. A chicken walks in the studio right now wearing a top hat. What's he doing? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Man, I don't know. I don't know what he doing or what he up to, but if he opened that door... <laughs> What are you doing? I'm confused. <laughs> he coming for that JJ's. He's, Aren't we all? <laughs> He's going to look at that joint like, all right, this they put some shit in this. Definitely. Yo, is that the purple That's stuff? Purple. 
was not expecting that question. No, me neither, man. Purple stuff was a code for DMT, ladies and gentlemen. So. Oh, that's why you guys are tripping. Hey, no. I fuck with the goddamn um, psychedelics. Spirit? Yeah, the spirit drug. Shit, so. The, uh, so maybe you could turn into a wolf. Don't do drugs. The psilocybin. My love shrooms. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> what is the best way to get rid of a body? He's stuck. He's <laughs> got. He's like narrowing down. No, that was it. <laughs> oh, that was it. Oh, yeah. No, fair enough. fair enough. Fair enough. Fair enough. That'll work. <laughs> On a scale of one to ten, how would you rate Ben as an interviewer? Be a ten. Wow! Wow! That was I knew I liked this guy. Very generous. All right. This next one is a fan favorite. You Sorry, have, Henry. Yeah, no, that happens. <laughs> you must get rid of three states. Which states do you delete? Hmm. <laughs> what is New Mexico? <laughs> Who eats the first one to do the Dude, one? actual is? Jeopardy? Wow. What is New Mexico? Oh. That's fire. Yeah, that's one. Okay. That's one. That's one. Wow, no one's done that what's before. Some, what's some other random states? You, t you tell us. Pick, two of them got to go. What is North and South Dakota? Okay. That can be Take Canada. Both of Dakota. That can be Canada Just and that can be Canada. Mexico. But, but keep Alaska, which is way the hell Definitely. All right, fair enough. I like the confidence. Nice. The wolves outside and Alaska. Yep, that that's true. The wolves okay. All right, last one of the short answer. What is your favorite curse word? Bitch! <laughs> that was amazing. Part one. Part one. Not bad. The what is for the Jeopardy answer? Extra points. Fire. Easily for that. Absolutely. Yep. The second part out of three is the this or that. I'm going to give you two choices. You pick one. Mm. Simple enough. I'll do it. Keys or strings? Keys. Well, I'm going to do it with the strings. <laughs> The so you could just rap over him the same Yo, way. <laughs> the fact that he didn't even go to instruments. Oh. He's, he's thinking of literally car keys oh. and like strings from your shirt or some shit, bro. I saw his mind literally like go through, what the hell am I doing with these? No, like, you know, elements of a beat, perhaps. These, these questions are open for interpretation. So that's the and beautiful part. And he interpreted part of it, it the, exactly. the way opposite way that I did. His answer was fine. You're actually interrupting. So if we could continue <laughs> this or that, I would very I'm much sorry. appreciate that. <laughs> Moving on. Apologies. Stacks or ad libs? Ad libs. Drums or melodies? Drums. Drums or flats? Drums. Rich and famous or rich and unknown? Rich and unknown. Get left with a cliffhanger. You shut up. <laughs> <laughs> this man, yeah. that is, that's the worst one I've ever heard. <laughs> Only wear pink forever or give a soldier boy you every time you enter a room. I don't do that. You every time, yeah. What you gonna embrace it too? Sounds kind of fresh as fuck. Yeah, it's gonna be your new thing. Walking in fresh as fuck doing the you <laughs> is better than wearing pink every day. <laughs> you heard it. Get slapped by a nine-year-old once a day, or slap a nine-year-old twice a day. I'm slapped now, yo. Slapped. Here they go. Right here. Taste out of my two. <laughs> Taste. My, my. Don't do that no more. Good Whatever you done did. Part two. Part two. Part two. That was good. That was part two. You did good. It's all going to come down to this last part, though, that's going to dictate whether you make the Hall of Fame that we keep talking about starting, but we okay. haven't done it yet. But there will be a Rapid Fire Rampage Hall of Fame. This is the word association. I'm going to say one word. You just say one word back. Maybe okay. two. Just the first thing off the top of your head. Rampage! Hip-hop. Can't stop. That ain't even a word. That's two. No, that's exciting. that was hard. That was a great first. It works. Answer. Yeah. Uh, first thing that comes off the. Where'd off your the confidence ground? go? That was hard. Artist. Smartest. <laughs> <laughs> I love where this is going. This could be great. Mustache. Kushstash. <laughs> <laughs> it's the first one of this kind. Depression. 
conversation. <laughs> We're going to have a verse by the end of this, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Album on the way. <laughs> this is making the project. Oh, fuck. Strip club. Damn. Girl pub. <laughs> Yo. Hey, if you need strip club, you're going to call girl <laughs> Amazing. Okay, I need a second. Right. Get it together, Henry. Chopper. Stopper. <laughs> Quesadilla. Mamma mia. <laughs> God. I really did. I thought I had him on that one. Yo, give him like a fucking hard one now at this point. Plunger. What the fuck? Remember those? What the fuck? Go with plunger. <laughs> Plunger, tundra. I'm like, what wow. the fuck? Damn it. L. Snail. <laughs> Lil. Bill. <laughs> Lil Bill. <laughs> that new Lil Bill tape was hard. Right. Yo, Lil Bill <laughs> is going heard that crazy that right that now. <laughs> that oh, new Lil shit. Bill is going dumb. <laughs> Lil. Listen. Bill. Drug. Hook. <laughs> Scam. Ham. <laughs> TikTok. <laughs> Let's hear it. That's the point. First thing that comes off. So I'm about to say, exactly. I'm about to say drip drop. Oh, <laughs> Go ahead. I feel like that wasn't the original one. That's actually cool. But that's okay. Podcast. Yeah, man. Yeah. His streak is over, folks. Yeah, over. <laughs> the correct answer was one more time. One more time. And finally, that's hard. Ed, Why y'all put that one last? It gives you a Should chance to. Early. No, I have got the last. You're gonna like the last one, but that gives you a chance to shout us out. You didn't do it. We're moving on. <laughs> so you failed that test. Raised by wolf. This has been Yo Dog, ladies and gentlemen. As always, please like, comment, and subscribe. If you fuck with the interview, go stream Raised by Wolves. New project on the way. Hey, Let's get it. It's the beat done. Uh-huh. One more time podcast. Boom. So, Until next week, Henry, what are we doing? The pack is out. Peace out. Oh, that shit like one more time.